Hey everybody, Arnold Wofferman here of Laser Cube Video Tutorials and Gear at First on behalf of X Laser and Wicked Lasers. So today we're going to talk about updating the Laser Cube to the new ArtNet option once it's officially out. This is the beta that you are seeing. So the first thing you do is going to update the firmware. Now you're going to see the bin file out of what you downloaded online from Laser Cube's website and just click upload and bam, instant. That was pretty fast. And if you don't know how to get into this screen, I'll be doing a video tutorial on how to access your individual settings on the laser cube. So now it's going to say firmware update complete rebooting. Now it's going to kick you off to laser cube Wi-Fi. So just watch on your Mac or windows PC to see when the network is back up and then reconnect. Once connected, log back in. Go to your update screen and now you should see where it says firmware file and resource file. The firmware file is where you just updated that firmware file. So don't worry about that part. Instead, we're going to go to the resource file. So go to your resource file and here's your second file there. Go ahead and upload that. This one takes a little bit longer, but again, same ordeal. Once it's done, it's going to reboot the laser cube. It'll kick you off its Wi-Fi connection and then we'll go back onto the Wi-Fi. Once you're back up and running, go into your settings. Like if you were going to switch from wire to wireless and you're going to see ArtNet, select that down and it'll connect it. You should see an asterisk if you were back on that menu to know that it's enabled. So here's how it works. Once you go in your settings, you're going to see your offset, which is, well, your DMX offset, meaning your channels. You cannot currently set the universe up on the time of this video. Um, and it doesn't let you actually specifically add just a fixture. So it's going to be one after the other. Now, currently there are eight channels within DMX. We'll take a look at the, uh, info that they sent me, but there's basically eight individual channels, which means you can probably get about 64 of these on one universe. So let's take a look at the information here. So as of the writing of this, here's how it's allocated. Address one is your master dimmer, then your zoom, then your pattern select. Then you have your control effect. Then we have your strobe, red, green, and blue. So the color effect means that, you know, we can use the standard uh, built-in uh, colors that each pattern has, or we can make our own. So for now, we're just going to keep it simple. We're just going to keep zero offset because we're only going to do one DMX cube. So I'm just going to use my DMX3 because I'm on my Mac, super easy. And on my devices, I'm going to make sure that my actual dongle is activated as well as the node. So in this case, the ArtNet Wi-Fi cube is going to be a node and I'm going to use broadcast. Now, this one will work on a 192 DHCP, whereas most ArtNet devices need a 10 or dot two. I have already have a kind of like a pattern here preset. I'm going to bring my dimmer up and there it is. Now I can select my patterns here. So now our fifth one here is our strobe. I'm not going to mess with the strobe, but I am going to look at the fourth. Now, for now, we're just going to leave it with zero, which is completely just the built-in colors that are made. Uh, as another example, let's see. Here's one. has a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. Um, these are all the pre-made colors that are in this, right? Here's a great one. Some yellows, some reds. But now I'm going to bring this all the way up. Oops, that's my strobe. So now I'm just going to go to and select my own colors. So now you can see red, but I can bring a little bit of green, blue. So now we've got white. I'm going to bring the red down. And now we've got like a cool cyan color. Now, obviously this is not the easiest way to do it. A uh, proper way is to get a profile done. So I'm going to make a profile, attach six, seven, and eight to a color wheel, and now I can control my laser cube with a color wheel. So essentially the way that it's going to work is I can either broadcast wirelessly as I'm doing right now, or I can connect it with an ethernet cable using a standard network switch. And again, at the time of making this video, I cannot individually address the fixtures. I can only do what's called the offset and I cannot do a, or choose my universe. So these are going to default to universe one. Just kind of keep that in mind. If you're going to be using this with your standard DMX show.